few final game before the All-Star break. Yankees drop it to the Astros 8-7. Another stunning loss flash with the Yankees on the cusp of victory. Up by five runs, 7-2 with three outs to get in the ninth. How quickly things change. I came up to the studio ready to praise the Yankees. 5-1 and one on the trip. They're right back in it. They've shown everybody that they might be a championship caliber club. When you want to be a championship team, you have to play for 27 outs and you got to find a way to get 27 outs. Houston Astros did not do a whole lot for three days in Houston, but they had a big bottom in the ninth inning, and Chad Green had one of those outings where he had nothing. Araldis Chapman has been down, has been struggling, and Chad Green has had to take over a lot of the responsibility, has had to work really hard. Fatigue had to be a factor in the ninth inning because he didn't have a whole lot. Again, going into the ninth, up by five. Now you look back, and they're going to rue the fact that on a day in which they had a ton of base runners, they drew 14 walks. They were only able to knock in four of those runners. Yeah, and they put seven on the board. But you're right. They had traffic all day. You're wondering if maybe when you lose this game, you're going to be thinking we should have put a lot more and separated ourselves. But on a day that had a lot of extracurricular activities going on, a lot of back and forth, uh, the Houston Astros and Altuve have the last laugh with all of that stuff. So this is going to be a tough one to swallow. The Yankees had a good road trip. But when you had a chance to sweep the Houston Astros and really make a statement, and it's really a category that They've had trouble all year. They're three and nine with games where they're going for a sweep. They had this one for eight and a half innings and they let it slip away. Well,